Hello everyone, thanks for watching this video. This video is actually going to be a big thank you to another YouTube channel. And so I actually entered a contest recently from Drecky Tech, and he reviews a lot of um, cameras, camera accessories, drones, things like that. And he had a giveaway, and he was giving away an Insta360 Air camera, and I entered and I actually won. So this, this came to me straight, um, shipped from China, from Gearbest. And uh, that was arranged through his channel, so big thank you to him. This is actually a pretty cool little little uh, device. It turns your phone into a 360 degree camera. And so it's basically just a little ball. You plug this into your cell phone and it can take 360 video. So really cool little add-on. Um, I'll give you a closer look at it in just a minute, but I definitely want to thank Drecky Tech. So if you have any interest in small cameras, especially action cams, uh, things of that nature, go subscribe to his channel. Uh, he's another small YouTuber. I'm really glad he was able to do a giveaway. Uh, and again, he's a small YouTuber, doesn't have a huge audience yet, and he's growing. So please go to his channel, subscribe, watch some of his videos. Uh, if anything that is, interest, is of interest to you, then um, you know, just from me to him, this is my thanks. I want to just pass on the good vibes, because uh, definitely this is about a hundred something dollar camera, and it was sent to me absolutely free of charge. So that is something I super, super appreciate. So again, big thank you to Drecky Tech. Um, but real quick, we'll take a closer look at this camera. I'm not gonna do a full review, but I'll just show off a little bit about how it works. Um, there are a few great videos on YouTube already showing the, all the features and details about what the Insta360 Air can do. Um, but I found it to be pretty neat so far, so let's take a closer look. All right, now the Insta360 Air, this is not a camera I had ever even heard of before. Uh, but I definitely think it's a, it fills a cool little spot in the world of photography, I guess you could say. But essentially it is a ball, like I just showed you. It comes with this really cool little rubber case that helps protect the lenses because it has a lens on both sides of the camera and this little um, micro USB lead sticking out. And so when you stick this back into the case, it just pops right, it folds open and it falls right in. And so that way you can protect your micro USB as well as both lenses behind this rubber case. So that's pretty ingenious. So you can throw this in your bag, take the camera with you, and just pull it out when you're ready to use it. Um, the camera itself does have a few requirements. Um, this one is a micro USB model. I do think they have them for um, Apple phones as well. And they definitely do have a USB type C version of this uh, camera. Um, but this is the one that was sent to me, so I'm gonna make the best of it. Um, so this right here is an LG G3. Um, it worked with this camera. It just plugs right in and you can see the little light for power. And what it automatically does is it launches the app as well as it inverts your screen. So now you can see exactly what the phone, what, what, the, what the camera itself can see. Um, so you can make a few changes. This is on photo mode. So when you take a photo, um, it'll actually let you pan around the entire photo just like you can see here. So if you've ever seen people do Facebook Live with a 360 degree view, it's essentially the same technology there from my perspective. Uh, it does do video as well. And there are three different resolutions it can do. Uh, it can do a 960p. I know it's hard for you guys to see that. It can do an auto. I mean, it can do a 960p, a 1280p, and a 3K. The 3K requires a really... Uh, modern phone. This LG G3 is a couple years old and it does not do 3K. When you select 3K it just crashes. So 1280p does work and it does have a gyroscope on there, a stabilizer. So pretty cool. Um, it also has in the settings here, it looks like you can do live streaming to Facebook which isn't something that is really of interest to me but definitely something that people might be interested in out there. Um, so pretty cool app actually. Um, it's curious when you export videos that you've already done, you can either export them as a 360 degree video, um, which of course you'll need software to view it on your computer or upload it somewhere. Um, or you can kind of just pick a frame, either like a 16 by nine aspect frame, a four to three aspect frame, and you can just pick which viewpoint the camera took and you can export that as a video as well. It does have a really extreme fisheye lens because you can imagine for getting the whole picture on two um, lenses here, these are really, really wide angle lenses. 
Um, so getting the pictures off is a little bit of a challenge. Um, so this is really kind of a, a, a niche camera. I don't think everyone's going to want one or need one. Um, but some situations I think this would work out really well for is maybe if you're at a concert, um, you can just do a video, save it to your phone, and pretty much no matter where you're pointing this thing, it's going to get a really good perspective of, of the action. Same thing as maybe if you're on a roller coaster, on a theme park ride, I think this would do really good at uh, getting the whole picture in, in one shot. So I think that'd be awesome for sharing to social media, especially since Facebook I know um, supports 360 video. Um, that's the number one thing I would recommend this for if you're going to share this anywhere. Um, so really cool little device. Um, I intend on keeping it. I think for family get-togethers, things like that, it would be pretty cool to take some video. And essentially, you're, it's creating a snapshot in time. You can see everyone around you, everything going on. Um, so I think that's a pretty cool feature for this type of a camera. So while I'm not the, the Facebook live streamer type of person, this definitely will have a use for me. Um, so pretty cool overall. Uh, I would recommend in the future you might want to get the USB Type-C version because uh, if you have a phone fast enough to run it in full 3K resolution, uh, chances are it's not going to have a micro USB connector anymore. Um, just as time goes on, technology gets better. Um, I would get it in USB Type-C or the Apple iPhone version. Um, so really cool device and I, I kind of recommend that. But if you waited to the end of this video, thank you. Again, go subscribe to Drecky Tech. He's the one who got me this camera for free. And in the name of uh, moving it on, passing on the good vibes, I am going to have a giveaway of my own. So if you subscribe to my channel, chances are you probably like knives because that's what most of my videos are about. So I am going to give away, this is a Quartermaster uh, friction folding knife. So which means this friction folder does not have a lock on it. It does, um, I, I'm not sure exactly what the model um, Quartermaster called it, but I do have the original box it came in with the, the um, sticker inside as well as the card. So I'm going to be sending this out to somebody who watches this video. So all I would ask, I don't have any way of verifying it, so this is on the honor system. Go subscribe to Jackie Tech, leave a comment on this video, and I'll count that as your entry. I'm only going to let you enter once. Um, but the great news is, if you've lasted this long, I've, I doubt very many people are going to leave a comment. Um, so you have a great chance of winning this knife. Um, I'm only going to send it to addresses in the United States, so I'm super sorry, especially considering Drecky is located in Canada, I believe. Um, I'm only going to send this to U.S. addresses. There are just too many things with knife laws and laws regarding sending these out of country. So if you live in the United States, subscribe to his channel. Um, leave me a comment below and I could be sending this to you in a very short time. So I'll let this run for a week or two, um, just depending on how many views I get. Again, I don't have many subscribers and not many people watch these videos, so you have an excellent chance of winning this Quartermaster Friction Folder Knife. Um, it's a pretty cool design. Um, this particular one, I will give you the history. I It is not new in box. I've taken it out of the box. I've played with it. Um, this one I purchased straight from Quartermaster last time they were holding a sale on Blems. So this technically is a factory Blem, although there's literally nothing wrong with it. The only difference that that means is that when you look on the blade, instead of a number, you're going to see it says X out, which is what they call their factory seconds. So that's really the only difference. Other than that, perfectly functioning friction folder, really cool knife, uh, very sharp and not a single thing wrong with it that I can observe. It even has a little lock, kind of like a Kershaw leak. So again, um, I'm going to give that away. Subscribe to Drecky Tech's channel. Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great day. I'll notify the winner as soon as I uh, draw numbers. So have a great night. Bye-bye.